If you're struggling to point your domain to your VPS, I've got you covered. Today, I'll teach you how to do it in three different ways. So follow along and we'll get your site up and running in no time. The steps for pointing a domain name to a virtual private server are similar regardless of the hosting provider you sign up with. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to do it on Hostinger's very own HPanel, but you can just as easy follow along and learn the basics if you use a different hosting service. To start us off, you'll need a domain name and the VPS IP address that you wish to point to. However, the whole process will be much easier if you use the same hosting provider and domain name registrar. Meanwhile, there are several ways to point your domain name to your VPS, but I'll be covering the three easiest ones by creating the A or Quad A records or pointing your domain name via Cloudflare. Before we continue though, make sure to subscribe to Hostinger Academy so you won't miss more videos on VPS and other handy web development tutorials as we post new videos every single week. All right, let's start by pointing a domain using the A record. Modifying a record type within your current DNS zone is the easiest way to point a domain name to a VPS. A DNS zone acts much like a digital address book for a website, letting the internet know where to find the site's files. This method will keep your DNS zone file and record entries intact with your current provider, something that is ideal for beginners or users who don't want to alter the DNS zone location. Okay, let's jump into action. Open your VPS dashboard in a separate browser tab. You'll need to copy your IP address information, so look for it under the overview section. Now, open a new tab and click HPanel's Domains menu. Look for the domain you want to point to and then click Manage. Go to DNS slash Name Servers. You should see a list of DNS records here. If there are any existing A records containing an at sign, triple W or Cloudflare Resolve 2 in the name, you need to delete these entries. If there are none, you can continue adding A records. Choose A from the drop-down list and name it simply as an at sign since it represents your root domain. Then, paste your IP address here and leave the TTL value as it is. Now hit Add Record. Once that's done, we're going to repeat the same process, but this time the name value should be triple W. This will ensure that people accessing your domain name with a triple W will be redirected to your VPS site. Okay, hit that Add Record button once again. And that should be it. The terminal will return your VPS IP address as the A record. If you've done all of this, but haven't set up your VPS yet, you'll see the default loading page once you visit your domain. If you need help creating a WordPress site, you're in luck. You'll find our video tutorial how to do that in the description below. Okay, we're done with the first method, and now let's move on to the next one. Creating Quad A records is practically identical to adding A records. The only difference is that you'll need an IPv6 IP address. If your hosting provider doesn't support this, you simply won't be able to use this method. So use the first method or jump to the next one if that's the case. If you want to add both A and Quad A types of records, that's even better since your domain name will be accessible in areas all over the world. Hostinger provides an IPv6 IP address and you can find it under the settings menu in your VPS dashboard. Once you're here, click IP address. Now, go back to the DNS slash name service page on the other tab as we're going to add the Quad A records. Just repeat the steps as shown previously, but this time choose Quad A from the drop down menu and paste the IPv6 IP address over here. Leave the rest of the fields as they are and click add record. Now, Add one more Quad A record with the triple W name value. Hit Add Record once more and you're done. Your domain name will go through a process called Domain Propagation, ensuring web browsers across the world can direct users to your website. And those were the easiest ways to point a domain name to a VPS. Next, I'll teach you how to have your domain name routed to a third-party CDN service like Cloudflare. In addition to changing the A and Quad A records in DNS settings, you must assign the Cloudflare name service to your domain name. Doing so offers several advantages to your site, including improved latency, DDoS protection, and balanced traffic loads. Fortunately, the procedure should be similar regardless of the VPS hosting control panel you use, so no matter which provider you're using, the process will be more or less the same. So, let's start by creating the new Cloudflare account. Once that's settled, log in and hit the Add Site button. You should find it immediately once you're on the Cloudflare's dashboard. Enter your domain name and hit Continue. 
Select Cloudflare's free plan as it provides all the essential features one might need for a VPS site. Of course, feel free to choose any paid plan if you need the extra features, but I'll go with the free plan for this demonstration. Click continue again and wait a few moments while Cloudflare scans your domain name. You should see your domain name records list once the process is finished. Ensure both the A and Quad A records point to your VPS IP address correctly. Then click continue. You'll get new name servers like those shown here that will point to Cloudflare's DNS. Now, go back to the DNS slash name servers menu on HPanel. Under the name servers tab, click change name servers. Choose change name servers and delete the existing ones. Paste the new Cloudflare name service you just got, leaving other fields blank. Hit save once you're done. And that's how you point your domain to a VPS via Cloudflare's name service. Great job! In the meantime, I'll show you how to check your domain name's current propagation status as it can take some time to complete. After pointing your domain name to a VPS, the process may take up to 24 hours to complete. You can check whether or not your domain name is successfully pointed using the whatsmydns.net website. Simply type in your domain name, select record type from the drop down, and hit search. If you see green check marks as we have here, that means these servers are already familiar with your domain name. Otherwise, your domain is still propagating. Of course, you can try flushing DNS if you want to try to speed up the process. You'll find a video tutorial in the description. Meanwhile, if nothing has changed after 24 hours, I suggest contacting your hosting or domain provider's customer support. But if everything's fine, you're good to go. Great work! Your VPS site is now accessible to the whole world using your domain name. If you happen to run into any issues during the process, don't hesitate to contact our customer success team. They work around the clock, ready to answer your questions. Otherwise, feel free to use the comment section below this video to ask other questions you may have. Of course, like and share this video if you found it helpful, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss other helpful VPS tutorials like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your online journey.